And packaging means it is going to make a copy of the InDesign document and all of the final images that were used. And it's going to make a copy of all of those elements and put them in a new folder, omitting any other junk or secondary images that you might have been playing around with. Only the final images and the document and the fonts will be pulled together by the computer and put in a new folder. First thing you have is the printing instructions and these you can either fill out, this is just for convenience of giving instructions and your personal information to the printing company. If you don't even want to fill it out, that's fine. Say continue. Then it says, okay, where am I going to put this? And um, it is automatically going to create a new folder with your document. And all you need to really do is check the buttons down here. You generally don't need to mess around with them. It says make a copy of the fonts, copy of all the linked graphic images, and update the graphic links as well in case there have been any changes. And so I will in fact go to my desktop and I will say save. <clears throat> Gives you a thing about fonts and you say OK. And here is what we end up with. We end up um, we end up with a file folder and the file folder has four things in it currently. It has a copy of my InDesign document. It has a folder with all the fonts, another folder with all the images, and that little instruction document. Here it is. Here are my fonts that were used in the document and here is a copy of the images. And uh, this has four things in the folder and we are going to need to add a fifth item which I will show you in subsequent videos and that is to manually you have to make a PDF and put the PDF in this folder so that there'll be a total of five things and that is what you would turn in for your grade and that folder is also what you would take to a printing company if you were doing this for real. So that's how it works and it's a very nifty process and the computer does the work for you. All you need to do is pay attention, follow the steps and get everything properly put together and the computer basically does the rest for you. And um, that's the, the basics of electronic prepress and uh, we'll continue to talk about some of these related issues um, and uh, printing uh, in subsequent videos.